so I read this post on Facebook a couple days ago, and um, people were talking about how much they hated it when YouTubers talked, when soap makers talked during soap videos. And I mean, immediately I felt attacked, even though of course it's probably not directed at me. But then I started thinking, I'm like, well, what even would my channel look like if you didn't just get weird me weirdly talking throughout the whole video? Like, I feel like I would have gotten bored with all of that very, very early on. Never would have made it through 365 days of soap and um, never, definitely never done a second year. And so um, for those people who maybe don't like it when I talk and just skip through all of this stuff, I get it. That's cool. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit anyway. Or, you know, maybe you're not supposed to be here because I talk a lot, usually awkwardly. It's part of my shtick. And um, yes, that, of course, has nothing to do with the soap that we're making. I just saw that. It was heavy on my mind as I had to come talk to you in a face video because this is part of the whole theme of what we do here. Started worrying that maybe I was... Uh, just irritating all of you guys every day. I will tell you all about the soap that we're making today in just a minute, but before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. I'm never gonna stop talking. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 172 of 365 days of soap, and day four of 10 days of thanks. So many days. So for today, for the fourth soap in the Christmas line, we are finishing up the soap series for the holiday line. And so we will be doing the same theme that we've been doing with all of it, just with new scents and new colors and all the jazz. And you can see all of them together in one beautiful, you know, little package there. It's going to be fun. We're also going to talk about uh, the fourth day of 10 Days of Thanks at some point throughout all of this. So, you know, let's go to the video. Let's do all the things there. And then we'll come back here and do more talking. Oh, look at this short itty bitty baby video. It's not as short as the shea butter soap recipe video, right? The thing was so teeny tiny. But I mean, how long can I really go on on a failed soap recipe and why we shouldn't use it? But this one also short because we have done this design three times already. And yeah, we're going to play around with the way that we are putting in the, the colored portion and all that jazz. Oh, and we're using an oxide. My God, I never use oxides at all, ever. This is going back to what I was saying yesterday about wanting to get rid of the uh, brambleberry colorants. Just, I want them all to be gone. So we're going with a nice bronzy, goldy, whatever e, knowing that it's going to go orangey after saponification because cold process soaps. It's always so sad when people ask about the beautiful shimmery colors that micas are when I'm doing classes, right? And they pick these gorgeous colors and I have to remind them of what I had already told them before they picked the colors. The shimmer doesn't stay, just the color tone. It's, are we fine with that? And they remember and get sad. It's, it sucks, I know. Sometimes we need some sparkle in our life. Of course, there are multiple ways to get sparkle in your life with a cold process soap, but that's not in the way that we are doing it here. So 
it's all a thing. Now, for this soap, it will finish out my holiday line as far as the soaps that I am doing for that are holiday actual themed. So I will have a four pack of these and then each of these four soaps get their own individual gift sets that contain a bath bomb, a whipped sugar soap scrub, and a lotion. And that is, I mean, I have a four pack of bubble bars. I have the bath bombs on their own as well. I, this is the main bulk. These five sets all are all themed around these four soaps. And I like it. I like the simplicity this year. I really like the ease of buying, ease of giving, ease of using. And I super like the ease of making in all of this because when you're in your holiday mad rush, really the last thing that you want to do is put a soap in your line that is so hard to make or so time consuming to make that it's going to kill the rest of your pr production schedule because that's not fun. Now for this scent, yep, we are doing Magic in the Air from Aztec and Peppermint from Nature's Garden. That Magic in the Air is a fan favorite. I have, oh, okay. All right. So did I get weird with the sloppiness of the soap batter yesterday? I don't remember that I did. Oh, hey, I got the big syringe out this time. Cool. I don't remember getting weird with the sloppiness for the silver soap. So three out of four of these soaps, I got sloppy with, with the, on the side of the mold. Cool. Awesome. Well, in this one, I'm just going to double down and also get some titanium dioxide all over the counter. So yay me. I love what a disaster I am. But the magic in the air, that is a fan favorite. I have multiple sudzers that message me and order one of the like as seen on YouTube bulk soaps. So you get like a dozen bars at a really awesome price. But in their order notes, they'll be like, can I get the magic blend again? And so I keep that in stock knowing that those orders are going to continue to come in. But for this one, I wanted to, I don't know, give something a little bit more mystical and kind of really anchor this whole scent line down but because i'd already done so many clean fresh bright scents in all the rest of them felt like i needed to pair it with the peppermint as well so i did that thing and that thing smells delightful which is good if it smelled terrible that would suck i couldn't sell it and we don't ever want that obviously now, I don't know what I was thinking by getting out the big syringe. Like yesterday's video, I am I have determined, hey, no, syringes are stupid. Let's not do this for this pour. That's not, that's not it. So I decided to go ahead and pull it out and do it again? Just with a bigger one? I, sure, I'm interested in seeing how this all works out. I'm going to assume what I want to be swirls are going to look exactly the same with this giant thing. But the thing about this giant syringe is it seems like a good idea in practice, but it is actually a bear to use. It's definitely physically arduous to do this. This is this is a lot. And so I don't know, just use your squeeze bottles. And then I'm just going to take a little hanger swirl guy in there because yesterday's they were again, they were just like little raindrops. So I'm going to take a hanger into all of it and swirl it around. Again, there's no real purpose in getting out the giant syringe for this. Could have just done a drop swirl and swirled it with a well, could have swirled it with the white going over it or with a hanger and then done with it. So I don't know exactly what I was trying to prove here or test here or whatever here, but it was not a smart idea. There was no real point in bringing out the syringe. So also, again, going back to the syringe, as I said, 
It's really hard to work with. So it seems like it might be a cool idea, but the actual strength required to push things, it's, it's kind of tough to push that plunger and the soap and the things. It's kind of rough. So I would recommend just not doing that. And I guess just sticking with your squeeze bottles. It seemed like a really cool, awesome idea in theory. It ended up being not at all. And that's cool. We, we learned that. We, we bought some weird giant syringes. We tested the weird giant syringes. They didn't work. Let's check out this cut. Okay, on to the cut. And it is exactly the color that I thought it was going to be, really. That's, that's my gold. Yesterday you saw my silver, today you see my gold. And that's what I was expecting. I was not expecting some weird holiday magic to come in and my soap to actually be gold. And also, all of that work, all of that effort, all of that bicep exercise, there's just nothing there. There's no, we'll bring it back. Thank you. There's, it's, it's kind of nothing. Again, could have just done an in the mold swirl with that. Drop swirl. Swirl, swirl, just a swirl. And it would have been better suited. So, I mean, lesson learned? Question mark? I feel like we already learned that lesson yesterday, though. So, why I decided to do it again, but just with a bigger tool, is beyond me. But now you know. Hey, bigger tool still has the exact same effect as the smaller because in both instances you are working with a syringe and that is not the right tool for the job. And Mr. Soap and Clay is always very big on reminding me that I always, always need to use the right tool for the job. And for years and years I pushed back and I'm like, no, it's fine. The end of this screwdriver will be perfectly suitable to bang in this nail. I mean, it's not anything as like obvious and ridiculous as that. It's really not, but I've also done that. He just wasn't present to witness that. But anyway, all four, see, that's a nice swirl, that green one. I like that swirl. The purples ended up beautiful. The gray, we've just got some, some great, some great raindrops which is also fine for a Pacific Northwest winter. Ultimately, they all still completely work and they're pretty and the design together is exactly what I was going for this year. So I guess that's all that matters. But again, use the right tool for the job. And a syringe is not the right tool for this job. Not a baby syringe, not a big syringe. You, you need to just do a regular swirl, maybe a hanger, worst case scenario. That is day 172, the fourth Christmas soap. It's day four of 10 days of thanks. It's all freaking awesome. And there it is, the fourth soap for the holiday line. And uh, normally that means that this gets dropped and we put it up on the website. Except during this time of the year because usually we wait until Small Business Saturday to release any of the holiday line on the website. But this year because everything is weird with shipping and the everything shortage and all of the jazz, we decided to release everything early, and if you are a preferred Sudzer that is subscribed to the newsletter, you already have that coupon code to shop the entire website. You have full access to the entire website with the Small Business Saturday discounts, and every day a new free thing drops that you can also try to get. So you get to see all of this, you know, now, and you have been able to for the past four days. So that's really cool, and you guys are uh, cleaning me out very quickly. So that's amazing. And I hope you guys are having a lot of fun with, you know, figuring out your holiday stuff. And I hope it's relieving some burdens for all of you guys, not having to scramble and you can just actually enjoy the holiday season like December instead of scrambling to click and buy and do the things. So it seems that people are liking it this way. I particularly like it this way too. So I'm glad that we did it. Day four of 10 days of thanks, that coupon code will drop today at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So again, 
go check out the newsletter. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, go to soapandclay.com and do so, so you can also participate in this fun, because it is a lot of fun. I thank you guys so much for joining me each and every day. 10 days of thanks is just an extra thank you um, to really show you that I am appreciative. And so I am out of here for today, but I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of 10 days of thanks and another round of soapy fun. Bye.